This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I export out a normal map from the 2.5D canvas? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have an example file here loaded in. This is just a quick wood board here. This is created from a rectangle primitive that I then went in and sculpted on to kind of give it this wood effect. So the question is asking about using the 2.5D canvas inside of ZBrush and then generating a normal map from that 2.5D. So for this process, I'm going to go through these steps on first how to create a tiling 2.5D image and then how to go through and generate a normal map from that 2.5D. So the first thing I want to do is I want to just resize my canvas to the texture size that I want to create. So I'm going to navigate over to the document palette and open this up. I'm going to navigate down here and deactivate the Pro option. I'm going to change my width to 512, change my height to 512, and then I'm going to click the Resize button here. Now after you click this Resize button, you're going to get this little dialog that's going to pop up. Just want to click Yes to that. And now I have resized my canvas to be 512 by 512. Now you notice that my canvas color here is a little bit difficult to see. So I'm going to go back to the Document Palette. I'm going to locate the Back button here. I'm going to click and drag this down to my color picker and just change the background color to black. So now you can clearly see the canvas size here, which has been resized to that 512 by 512. So now I want to clear my canvas. So I'm going to hit Control N to clear that out. So I just have a blank canvas here. I'm going to go to my tool palette over here and make sure I have my wood board selected. I'm then going to click and drag the board out. And as I drag it out, I'm going to hold Shift, which will lock it into a vertical position. Next, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go into edit mode or press T on my keyboard. And now my mesh should be in a 3D state here. So if I click and drag on the canvas, I'll be able to rotate around it like so. I'm going to position it back to looking straight ahead. So rotating and then holding Shift to snap that into that axis. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click the frame button, which is going to frame my board vertically into the canvas here. So it now should be perfectly aligned top to bottom. Then I want to zoom out just slightly so I end up getting a gap between the top and bottom edges of the canvas. So I'm going to come over here to the zoom 3D option here. I just click and drag slightly just to give it a little bit of a gap there. So something like that. So now the next thing I want to do is I want to get out of edit mode. And this is going to take this board here and just drop it to my canvas. And after I get out of edit mode, this is now in 2.5D. So now that I'm in the 2.5D mode, if I hold down the tilde key on my keyboard and click and drag, I'm going to be able to tile that 2.5D canvas. So as you can see here, I can take that board that I've slapped down into that 2.5D and now I can move it around. And this is going to allow me to create a fully tiling 2.5D canvas. So I'm going to position this like so, and now the next thing I want to do is I want to add more boards in between these areas. And to do this, I'm going to use the layer system. So I'm going to navigate up here to the layer palette here. I'm going to click this button here to dock it to the side. And you can see that I just have one current canvas layer. So what I want to do with this is I want to duplicate it. So I'm going to click the duplicate button here. Now I'll have two layers. With the second layer selected, if I hold down the tilde key again on my keyboard and click and drag, I'm be able to offset this. I'm saying start creating another layer here on my canvas. I'm just going to generate something like this. I'm going to click duplicate again, hold down tilde, drag out another one, and just reposition these across the canvas here. Duplicate again, drag another one out. Duplicate again, drag another one out. And duplicate one more time. And so now I have created this tiling pattern here. So now I've just used these canvas layers and I've just taken that one mesh, I've applied it once in 2.5D, and then I've created multiple 2.5D layers. And this is now giving me this result. So now I just need to merge all these layers down so they're one single layer. So to do this, you just need to go to the layer palette and then click this merge button here. And once you click merge, you're going to get another little dialog that's going to pop up and ask you if you want to merge the layers. You can just press spacebar or click yes as you do this. And then I can hit merge again, press spacebar, click merge again, spacebar, merge, spacebar, merge, spacebar. And you just want to keep clicking merge until you have one single canvas layer. So now with one single canvas layer, I can use the tilde key again and reposition this and move this around. 
and you're gonna see that this is 100% tiling. So now I have my 2.5D canvas here and it tiles correctly. And now I wanna take what I have here in 2.5D and I wanna turn it into a normal map. So let's say I have this as my image and now I wanna generate a normal map from this. So how can I do this? So to do this, you just need to fill the 2.5D geometry that's on the canvas with a normal map material. So I'm gonna navigate over to the tool palette over here. I'm gonna select the simple brush. And with the simple brush selected, I wanna make sure that material is active at the top here. And then I'm gonna to go to the stroke over here and open this up and I wanna grab the drag rectangle stroke. And then I wanna to come to the material palette here and open this up and I wanna locate the normal map material. So here's the normal map material down here. So now I have a simple brush selected. I wanna make sure I also have Z add off as well. I just have the material channel turned on. I have the drag rectangle stroke selected and I have my material set to normal map. So now using this brush, I can now come across my 2.5D canvas and click and drag. And this is going to replace the material that was currently assigned to the model in 2.5D with this normal map material. So now you can see I've taken that 2.5D canvas, which was being displayed in that matte cap gray, and now it is being displayed in the normal matte material. So now I have this, and with this being a normal matte material, I can now go to the document palette and export this out, and it's now going to give me a tangent space normal map. So you can do this process with any material inside a ZBrush after you have something in 2.5D. So just make sure you have that simple brush selected. You come over here and select any material. So let's say I wanna try the metal material here. Click and drag, and now I'm getting this 2.5D previewed in that metal material. I can change to say the poly skin material. Now I have applied with that material. I can even change to say the sketch gummy. And so you can see how you can just quickly come through and generate this one 2.5D canvas and then come through and apply these different materials to get different effects or results. And then you can export out these at any time by going to the document palette and going to export. This is gonna allow you to create multiple material passes that you can then use to compile a final tiling texture. So the process again is after you have something in 2.5D, just make sure you're out of edit mode, make sure you have the simple brush selected, change the stroke to drag rectangle, select the material you want to use. Then at the top here, make sure you have material channel active, make sure you have everything else turned off. Then when you click and drag, you're just going to fill that object with that material. And now you can go to the document palette and export it out as needed. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag Ask ZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.